Uh, okay, um, today I'm gonna show you how to actually play our mod because for some people it's pretty unclear and yeah. So, well, this is my first video, so I'm a little bit excited, but let's go. Okay, um, so where should we start? Well, I guess I'll just show you some stuff. Okay, um, this is our like uh, inventory basically. Um, here, like Ingrams, uh, like Ingrams you can craft. Uh, in the, in your inventory, but you also get ones that you can craft in, for instance, let's say, um, in the smithy. So right now there's nothing in here I can craft it because I'm not that level yet. So what I will do is basically, here's your level percentage. You level up from collecting stones, harvesting, blah blah blah. So, well, I guess in here you can also see what you need to craft it. So basically, if you click on it, you can craft it. It can also add like cues and blah blah blah. And here are the ones you unlock. So basically, when you le uh, level up, you can then unlock these. So for now, this is always at level 0 you get that there, okay? So And it also says the cards, blah blah, and a small text for fun, blah blah blah. Uh, so, um. Wait, okay. Well. I guess we can look for some rocks, maybe pick them up to see if we can level up. Oh, okay, so look, uh, these are the little rocks you can pick up, they just spawn random in the world. And you gotta, you gotta make sure your hand's empty, so if I go where to find some again. Okay, here. I can't pick it up like this, I have to actually have an empty hand, so like that. So you can pick up some rocks, and if you look here, I'm leveling up slowly. So, uh, you'll also get a message that you leveled up. See, so yeah, I leveled up now. Okay, because I leveled up, I can go in here. And here I have 8 Ingram points that I can spend. And this one costs 3. So basically, I can either double click on it or learn Ingram. Well, here are also some other ones I didn't show yet. So basically, I can double click on it and then it decreases my value. And then I can, yeah. Uh, what else do I want? Maybe my stone hatchet. Okay, sure. So, now how do we actually get resources? Yeah, well, it took a while to think this through, but we came up with this idea. So basically, we go into arc mode, there's a key, uh, it's, uh, for me it's P, I think. Um, controls, see here, you got defecate, open, blah, blah, blah. Uh, inventory, crafting, reload weapon, toggle arc mode. So I uh, toggled arc mode on, uh, let's make sure I'm game mode now. And okay, now I can... Make sure, like this, nothing will happen, it will just be like mo normal Minecraft. See, you're gonna make sure your hand's empty. Okay, sorry, okay, there. Now, when I harvest this, it, dro it drops thatch. And then we harvest again, because we also need to get some wood and stuff to actually make our hatchet or pickaxe, whatever. So that's basically how you'll start. Okay, see, we also got some wood. Uh, but I'm not sure how much we need. Uh, we need 10 that. Okay, so if for now I can craft in it and then see it's crafting it slowly and it consumes the resources and now it outputs in my inventory and you also get XP for it. Okay, so cool. Now I actually don't need the arc mode anymore and now I can like harvest this and it'll actually harvest the whole tree and you get more resources. Uh, so what what else can you do with this? You can also go to these rocks where we found some. I saw some earlier. Um, do you have these like big rock veins which spawn on the surface? Uh, there's one. At the moment the textures are not that great, but yeah, we'll have to change lots of them. We just don't have the good textures yet. So okay, so this will take a while as it's a pretty big one. It will drop quite a lot. Oh wait. So let's start harvesting. So basically what we implemented is the bigger the vein is the longer it takes to harvest but you also get more resources out. <sighs> That's taking a while. So what else should I then show you guys? I guess while well, the leveling. Uh, oh yeah, also we have a decaying of food and meat and stuff. I'll show you that too. Just in a sec after I've finished mining, but mining this. <laughs> I 
Okay, they see a lot of stones and flint. So you, uh, with, the, um, with the pick, you get more uh, flint than stones, so as you can see. But with the hatchet, you get more stones than flint. So yeah, it's just like an arc, so if you played it, then it should be familiar, I guess. Okay, well, uh, let's quickly go time, set day, game mode 1, wait, where would I shoot the that? Okay, okay, so l let me just show you the crop plots, how they work and stuff. So basically, uh, it's it start off with a berry bush, sorry. Um, clear all items. Okay, game mode zero. So basically in game zero, when you find these bushes, they look like grass, but they actually are bushes. You can just hit them and then they drop fiber and berries, like an arc. And if you look here, it actually has a decay time. So it actually de decomposes after a amount of time. And if you put it in like a refrigerator, which will add, then you'll actually, it will take longer to decay. So let me get some of that. And uh, randomly it should then drop the seeds. Um, wait, I think we may have not implemented it yet, but we will. But basically you'll, what you will get is you'll get some seeds and you also have to create yourself a water skin, which you can do under here. Look, I've got 10 points and this is level 3. I think I can learn it. So yeah, I can learn that. And then it actually shows here and it says 12 fiber, 4 hide. So if I collect that, I can go craft it. Hide you can get from normal Minecraft mobs for the time being, as we don't have any downers in yet, sadly. But yeah, it's, it takes it's a lot of coding, so it's not easy. Um, so uh, yeah, no, in the water skin, it actually also decays, uh, like empties slowly. So you can also like drink on it, but it won't, doesn't do anything yet. But for now, you just use it for the crop plots, I guess. So basically, we have our water skin, and now it's actually okay. It should actually show water percentage. Well, okay, it's still bug gonna fix, I guess. Uh, so I consume that and not empty. What you could do is, uh, uh, with the rain, I think. And now it will actually, if you look, it will slowly fill up. Same as the crop plots. They all fill up with rain. Okay, so now what we need is our seed. So let's, different seeds for each, so I can actually show you the different, what we have. Okay, um, let's take fertilizer. Because that doesn't decompose, as you can see here, uh, that decomposes and that doesn't, and it's got a higher fertilizing value. So let's get three of those. So we've got we've got it irrigated. So there's water in there. Now we need to fertilize it, and you put in a seed, and then it consumes seed, and then starts. It takes the time to grow though. So uh, let's get there and there. Okay, yeah, that's not good enough uh, water, I think. Yeah, okay. But yeah, so now, it's, now it will also really grow. Then it, ha it has like five, I think, four stages of growth. And then when it's when it's a big plant, then it actually, like every minute or something, it outputs one of these berries. To look around, harvesting all these berry bushes and so on. Okay, so what else? I guess the guns. I can play them again. I'm not sure if you've seen the video, but the guns are pretty awesome too. So we have these guns, we have attachments for them. Not all have attachments, for instance shotgun doesn't have any attachments. But that's all the same in arc. So let's just show it on the pistol. When I press M, you have my attachment inventory, and then I can add a scope, for instance. Uh, the scope sway is a little bit fast, but that's no problem, we can fix that. So basically, I can scope in and shoot, yeah. Um, at, at the top right of the screen, you see how many bullets you have, but as in creative mode, you have infinite amount of bullets. So you see, here it's really a C thing now. Uh, here, you can also add a scope, but let's add a flashlight over here. It's, it's, a, def it's a definite FPS impact, but it, 
it's improved a lot so you basically can light around here and stuff and the model also changes you can remove the attachments again the laser is pretty cool so the lasers what you do is basically like a redstone signal which gets displayed at the, the block where you're looking at look you can see the laser and stuff so that also got kind of working I guess uh, holoscope doesn't do anything yet because oh wait we actually do it's just got a cool model but it you can't actually zoom in but yeah okay what else so these are all like just for crafting oh yeah compost bin uh, for the compost bin what you do is you get some feces so I think you need three or something and 50 batch or so and you just place it all in there and then it takes a while to sort of actually like compost into fertilizer but if you look here it says okay wait damn it wait no that's fine look if it says one minute uh, uh fif like 50 seconds now and if i put it back up in there it says 12 minutes and 55 seconds so this basically makes it decay a lot longer in there which we're still going to add for like our berries and stuff and so on um why is this one not growing okay weird i, th I think the plant died but yeah look these ones are already growing things soon they're going to be fruit things and they'll be outputting berries and and look the fertilizer goes down and so on uh what else so the guns are showing you water stuff. We got some nice armor models. We got a spear, just and arc stuff. Our tools. Um, well, I guess that's about it. So basically, you just gotta level up by doing stuff, uh, crafting stuff, and so on. And I'm gonna actually show you this. Uh, if I learn this, I'm not the level yet. Let me collect some stones. So that I'll show you that it actually works with the thing. Okay, collect some stones. Oh, it's harvest. Okay. Oh yeah, uh, for getting metal, metal will be found like in the rocky areas. Uh, so it's actually pretty rare, but it's also like a vein, and you can also get crystals there. Um, how much do I need? Okay, nearly done. Okay, I leveled up. Um, so basically, wait, uh, I think I saw metal on this map actually. Okay, here, uh, you see this is like the rocky areas, and there'll be like metal ores spawning here. As you can see here, this is like iron. And basically, when you harvest that, you get a higher chance of dropping metal to actually get the metal tools, which are better for harvesting. Um, so, am I now correct? Oh, level 5, damn it. Well, basically, I'll still show you it here. Um, do we have any rock vein, maybe? Let's harvest this, but take the... Uh, okay, well, it goes pretty fast. But it, as it's like only a small vein, so... Um, level... Harvest a bit more. But as you can see there are still lots of bugs that we have to fix. But that's where it would be great if you have some more people that could help. Um, is the XP multiplier not added for that yet? Uh, well let's go here. Oh wait, I think I'm actually using the wrong tool. Ah, I'm, I'm game mode. Damn it. Game mode zero. Sorry. That was a problem. But you can see the smaller the vein is, the faster it mines. So. Um, no, there is some. Well, that's a bit of a weird spawn tree well, whatever still 
need some XP. I'm not sure. Uh. Okay, we don't have that command. But like for the servers, we'll have a command so you can actually add XP. Okay, so now I'm level 5 as you can see there, this also pretty cool, you can actually move your character around. So now I can eventually learn that, and learn that, and that. But probably I could actually craft it, and I don't have hide. But let me just go creative mode, 1, so now we get ourselves the mono pestle, so now we place it down. And now, as you can see, it actually pops up in here. Uh, we have a speed issue that some other flint's not showing, but that's supposed to be two times flint. So basically, if I put my flint in here, and I think I need stones, and then I click craft, and it crafts two, as because the recipe always outputs two, four, one, one. But I can also do craft all, which then crafts twelve. Which you can see is working that. Uh, so wait, also you can show with that, but yeah, so that just shows you what's highlighted and so on. Oh yeah, just be before I forget, we also have blueprints. As you can see here, blueprints basically, if you, you'll, be, you'll be able to find these around the world, and when you put these in your inventory, so let's say you, uh, for instance, find this spear. So now, when I go in the inventory, I can click on it, and then I can like craft it. So that's, that means two flint again. So let me wait. I've got two flint. I need some fiber and wood. So let's add that. Um, wood and some fiber. So now when I actually should be able to craft it. So craft. See, it's crafting it now. So that's also pretty cool. Which we added. So you can craft all. As you can see there. And then yeah. Okay, well, I guess that's it for today, and I hope I wasn't that bad. So, hopefully you can enjoy it and just help out, because that would be great. Okay, see ya!